Justin, what have you made of the season so far for Wakefield, fourth in the table heading into the second half? Yeah, it's um, yeah, pretty good to be honest, considering how many guys we've got out at the moment. So, um, yeah, everyone's sort of going through injuries at the moment around this time, so to get a few nice results over the last month or so has been good. Uh, and nicely placed, when the, those players come back and, and we get towards the end of the season, we're in a good position to challenge for that place in the top five. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty exciting when you look at, look at it from that end. Um, like you said, we've got some, some big, big name players. Hopefully we get a couple back in the next couple of weeks and then um, within at least the next month or so, we've got guys like hopefully Bill and, and Milky and Matty Ashurst and those players. You mentioned the injuries, obviously you're having to play all over the park at the minute. Is that, is that a good challenge to have, <laughs> the fact they just seem to slot in wherever you need it to at the moment? <clears throat> Personally, it's not ideal, but uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been good to just, I don't know, the older you get, it kind of freshens you up a little bit. It's just, it can become pretty repetitive playing the same position um, like I have all my, all my career. So getting in and mixing it around, and whether it be uh, back row or in the middle or out in the centres, it's, uh, it's been fun. Yeah, I, I tend to sense that with players who move around. It, it's a frustration that you, obviously you want to play in a certain position, but yeah. you just have to do whatever you're told at times. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think the pleasing thing is we've got some good results out of it too. We're really, like, not, not only yourself, but I think when we played against Wigan, we had 13 fit players and, and we had everyone playing out of position that game and we still got the results. So um, when that happens and you're, you're able to play out of position but still get the win, that's, um, that's a nice feeling. Coming up against the Huddersfield side, who you met a few weeks ago, beat by a point here, and obviously Danny Ruff was key in that game. He's not uh, with you uh, for the game on Friday. What do you make of Huddersfield and, and their form going into this one? Yeah, they're they're pretty similar to us. They've had a few guys in and out. Um, like you said, it was a close one. Um, I've got all the faith in the world in Benny Reynolds and and Rocky to get the job done if it comes down to something similar. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they're a different team at home too. Um, we, they were tough here, but. You know, the last couple of years I've gone over there and played Huddersfield. It's been a, re um, a really tough game, so I'm expecting that. That must be pleasing about the, the way the team has come together with the injuries, the fact that new partnerships are being built and, and living up to the, the pressure put on them. They are still getting the results out there on the field. Yeah, well, I think that was definitely a uh, strength of ours going into the season was um, um, our squad. Um, and, I, and I think it showed during this period the guys that have stepped in. Um, like I just named a few there before, but... Um, exciting for some of these young guys like Kirsch who's got his run a couple of weeks ago and played really well as well so um, we've got a really strong playing group uh, we all get along really well and I think that shows in our footy On a, a personal level we tick past the 1st of May so you are able to speak to other clubs and, and obviously rene renegotiate here any word on where you'll be playing your rebuilding next season? Not yet mate um, I'm a bit older so I think they're, they're looking at the young guns first before they start looking at players in <laughs> round 32, 33 so no, I'll, I'll see how it plays out, mate. I'm enjoying the footy in the last couple of weeks and, and get some big minutes and, uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens.